Thank you, Mr. President. When I met Larry Wilmore earlier this month, he told me it's his dream come true to follow the President at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. He did. He's the host of the nightly show on Comedy Central, and it is our pleasure to welcome him tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Larry Wilmore. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thanks for keeping that applause going all the way too, I appreciate that. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome to a Negro Night here at uh, Washington, or as Fox News will report, two thugs disrupt elegant dinner in D.C. <laughs> That's how they do it. Right? <laughs> nice to be here, though, at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, or as you know, they're going to call it next year, Donald Trump presents a luxurious evening paid for by Mexico. <laughs> I'm very scared of that. <laughs> But thank you so much. It's, uh, it's an absolute honor to be here uh, tonight. I want to thank the President, uh, the First uh, Lady, Carol Lee in the White House uh, Correspondents Association um, for hiring me, and Mitch McConnell for not blocking my nomination. <laughs> Seriously, you got to give Mitch McConnell credit. At this point, he could block LeBron James. <laughs> He's unbelievable. But to say a little bit about me, um, so. I am a black man uh, who replaced a white man who pretended to be a TV newscaster. So, yeah, in that way, Lester Holt and I have a lot in common. <laughs> I know it's not too soon. <laughs> and I have to admit, it's not easy to follow the president, man. You got some jokes, Mr. President. The president's funny. Stay in your lane, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. You don't see me going around presidenting all the time, right? I don't go around passing health care and signing executive orders, pardoning turkeys, and not closing Guantanamo. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe I did do that. <laughs> but I have to say, it's great. It looks like you're really enjoying your last year of the uh, presidency. Um, saw you hanging out. Uh, with NBA players like Steph Curry, Golden State Warriors. That was cool, that was cool, yeah. You know, it kind of makes sense too because both of you like raining down bombs on people from long distances, right? Yeah, that's true. What, am I wrong? What? <laughs> Speaking of drones, how is Wolf Blitzer still on television? <laughs> Ask a follow-up question. Good. <laughs> Hey, Wolf, I'm ready to project tonight's winner. Anyone that isn't watching the Situation Room. Oh, it's <laughs> No, all right, uh, fine, I like Wolf, fine. Uh, Vice President Joe Biden is here. Nice to see you, Vice President. That's great. Um, uh, I heard Joe's retiring, moving back to Delaware, which is good. He won't have to answer any more difficult uh, questions like, hey, don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> But I have to say uh, uh, about the First Lady, um, it's so nice to have uh, dinner with you. She's the epitome of grace, class, and poise, isn't she? She really is, yeah. Uh, not to be confused with future first gentleman, Bill Clinton, whose three favorite strippers are named grace, class, and poise. So, yeah, don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> it's the late show, Mr. President. I can do these jokes. So. And let me just say, Mr. President, the office has taken its toll on you. You look terrible, Mr. President. <laughs> no, you do, man. I mean, look at you. Your hair is so white, it tried to punch me at a Trump rally. <laughs> President's hair is so white, it keeps saying all lives matter. All right, fine. Fine, I get it. I get it. <laughs> No, but man, you came in here looking like Denzel, right? Now you're going out looking like Grady from Sanford and something. I know I it's a dated you. reference, but you're dated, Mr. President. <laughs> All I'm saying is that in less than eight years, Mr. President, you bust your two time-honored stereotypes, black does crack. And apparently, once you go black, it looks like we are going back. 
Yeah. Thanks, Ben Carson. <laughs> I got to be careful picking on you, though, Mr. President. You know, a couple of years ago during this dinner, uh, you were like killing Osama bin Laden. Remember that? Who are you killing tonight? <laughs> Can't be print journalism. That industry's been dead for a while now, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shout out to the print media. No, really, you have to shout. They're like all over 70 now. You know? <laughs> so the follow-up was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys, uh, Black Lives Matter is here tonight. I'm just kidding. Relax, white people. They're not here. <laughs> it's just a joke. Just relax. Just relax. <laughs> but I am impressed with the people in this room. Um, there are so many rich, powerful people in this room. You know, it's nice to finally match the names to the faces in the Panama Papers. It's very nice, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nice to see them go together. <laughs> Will Smith is here from the upcoming movie Suicide Squad. Yeah. <laughs> Big Will Smith. Uh, by the way, not to be confused with the new Jeb Bush documentary, Suicide Watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Groans are good. Groans are good. <laughs> Anthony Anderson is here from the hit show Blackish. Blackish, yeah. Which was also my nickname in high school, unfortunately. <laughs> That's what they called you in Kenya, too, didn't they, Mr. President? <laughs> C-SPAN, of course, is carrying tonight's dinner live. Uh, yeah. Which is ironic, because most of the viewers aren't. <laughs> it's true, guys. C-SPAN is the number one network among people who died watching TV and no one's found them yet. <laughs> no, but it is good to be on C-SPAN. Um, glad I'm not on your rival network, no input, <laughs> HDMI one. <laughs> that was for me, that was for me. <laughs> CNN is here tonight. You mentioned CNN, yep. Um, I've been watching CNN a long time. Yep, used to watch it back uh, when it was a news network. <laughs> I did. Was it all CNN here tonight? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can't get enough of that CNN countdown clock. <laughs> now we can see exactly when they hit zero in the ratings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not to throw any shade, but uh, Fox News is the highest-rated cable news channel among viewers who have no idea what shade means. <laughs> Fox, news, Fox News actually tried to convince America that Beyonce was anti-cop after her uh, Black Panther-inspired performance at the Super Bowl. Anti-cop, come on. At the most, she's anti-pants. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think Fox News secretly likes Beyonce, though. They just renamed the Kelly file uh, Becky with the good hair. <laughs> eliminate, eliminate, Mr. Vice President. Yeah, eliminate, yeah. no, two, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, MSNBC, MSNBC here tonight. No, which uh, actually now stands for missing a significant number of black correspondents. <laughs> Am I wrong? Have you guys seen they uh, they like fired Melissa Harris Perry? They canceled Joy Reid, they booted uh, Ture. I heard they put Chris Hayes on probation because they thought he was related to Isaac Hayes. <laughs> That's wrong. MSNBC got rid of so many black people, I thought Boko Haram was running that network. <laughs> what was going on? <laughs> you know, I should say, some of America's uh, finest black journalists are here tonight. Um, Don Lemon's here, too. Um, <laughs> Hey, Don, how's it going? <laughs> Alleged journalist Don Lemon, everybody. <laughs> Al Sharpton, I think, was here tonight. Um, you know, I'm surprised Al's a Hillary supporter. Uh, you don't put a relaxer in your hair for 40 years and not feel the burn. <laughs> that just doesn't happen. It's impossible, is what I'm saying, right? By the, if you're sitting next to Al Sharpton, feel free to feel the perm. <laughs> it's okay. We've cleared it. It's all right. <laughs> Lots of big news this year. Uh, the Treasury promised to put Harriet Tubman's face on the $10 bill, but now 
we have to wait until 2030 for the $20 bill. Yeah. Um, man, women haven't been this deceived by a bill since Cosby. Oh, like I did it. Yeah. Ben Carson was also against Harry Tubman replacing Andrew Jackson in the $20 bill. He praised Jackson, saying he was a tremendous president. Uh, from the grave, Andrew Jackson replied, what did that jigaboo say? That's what he said. That's what he said. I'm just the reporter, you guys. I'm just the reporter. I'm the reporter, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, did Larry Wilmore say Jigaboo on Obama's last? Uh, I did. I honestly did. <laughs> but 2016 has been a beast, though, man. We lost David Bowie, Merle Haggard, Prince, or as Hillary Clinton calls it, my favorite singer, my favorite singer, my favorite singer. Okay. <laughs> Biggest thing this year, though, has been the presidential election. Lincoln Chafee ran an admiral book uh, campaign. Now he's back to doing what he does best, manning the pottery booth at the craft fair. <laughs> Chris Christie was supposed to be here tonight. I don't know if he made it. Um, he RSVP for three. Him, uh, his wife, and Donald Trump's dry cleaning. <laughs> I should make fun of Chris. Chris lost a lot of weight recently, didn't he? He said, this is what he said, he said he just eliminated everything from his routine that wasn't uh, necessary, like his self-pride and dignity. <laughs> you guys are tough, man. <laughs> Senator Bernie Sanders is here tonight. Senator. Which I'm surprised you never come to these things. Uh, he usually goes to the White House Correspondents' early bird dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's nice of you to come to this one this time, Senator. I appreciate it. <laughs> Senator recently had a hernia operation. Uh, his doctors say uh, it's his own fault for trying to lift the hopes of the disenfranchised. <laughs> you got to stretch before you do that, Senator. <laughs> I am confused uh, with Bernie's stance on guns, though I have to. He seems anti gun, he seems to be anti gun everywhere except Vermont. Bernie doesn't care who gets a gun in Vermont. <laughs> there are no black people in Vermont. <laughs> I have to give you credit, though, Bernie. You are trying hard to get the black vote. I think it's, I think it's great. Um, Bernie's been hanging around with uh, rapper Killer Mike, um, or as Hillary Clinton calls him, Super Predator Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Bernie Sanders gets knocked for his age, which is kind of unfair. It is, isn't it? Um, although I will say that uh, Bernie's so old, his first campaign slogan was fire. Remember that? Mm -hmm. 